Somewhere in the Antarctic Ocean lives the colossal squid, a creature so rare and mysterious that it has never been filmed in its natural habitat. But on the other side of the world, in Clarenville, Newfoundland and Labrador, a team is gunning to be the first. I'm expecting us to be standing there on our, like looking at the little screen and then just see this like nice hooked arm come and just the grab beak. the, yeah, <laughs> the beak. That would be really exciting. That would be epic. At the offices of Subsea Imaging, marine scientists Jennifer Herbig and Eugenie Jacobson and engineer Brent Lockie are going over the final details before setting off on a colossal expedition. So Jenny and I and the folks at Subsea are going to Antarctica to look for colossal squid, which is the largest, meaning the heaviest invertebrate in the world. How big a deal is this for you guys? This is a pretty big deal. Yeah, we're really excited. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first discovery of the colossal squid was like in 1925. So it's been a long time coming that we haven't been able to capture this organism on film and really characterize what it's doing. So I think it would be a huge, mm -hmm. huge discovery. In 2013, scientists famously captured the world's first video of the giant squid. Both species of squid are extremely rare, but giant squid have longer tentacles and live around the world, while colossal squid is much heavier, around 500 kilograms, and lives only in the Antarctic. Hi there, world. I'm Matt Mulrennan, a marine scientist and co-founder CEO of Colossal, an ocean exploration and conservation nonprofit. Matthew Mulrennan has been planning this project for the past seven years. But while he's based in sunny California, much of the expertise he's assembled is coming from Newfoundland and Labrador, where cold water science is a specialty. Herbig and Jacobson are graduate students at Memorial University's Marine Institute. They were at the Earth's other pole doing research in the Arctic on board a Canadian Coast Guard vessel when they got the call for Colossal. There are very few people who get the opportunity to go down and study Antarctica and deploy a camera from a ship um, and see what's down there and characterize everything. So it's a really unique opportunity. Mm -hmm. Did you imagine you'd get opportunities like this when you signed up at Marine Institute? No. no. <laughs> then there's the camera. Colossal squid isn't going to swim up to the surface for a selfie, so subsea imaging has created a rig that can stand up to the rigors of the Antarctic Ocean. So environment is generally very dark. Once you get down about 400 meters, there's very little to any sunlight that filters down that far. So we have two very powerful lights on our frame system. We will have bait attached out in front of the camera and hopefully, hopefully, we'll see the colossal squid uh, taking some of that bait. The final piece of the puzzle is getting there. But the team isn't taking a research vessel to the Antarctic. They're hitching a ride on a cruise ship, the Ocean Endeavour. While the cruise passengers spend their days spotting penguins and sipping cocktails, the members of Project Colossal will be below deck, trying to spot the colossal squid on their underwater camera. We think this is one of the best platforms to do it because it, they're already going down there. So it's very low carbon, uh, right? To get to Antarctica, is, it takes a lot of effort. Uh, and so it's an incredibly efficient way to do research. It's a model that's catching on, using adventure tourism to subsidize science. Last summer, subsea imaging's cameras were used on another expedition that took researchers and well-heeled tourists to the wreck of the Titanic. This is a new field, right, is doing research off of tourism vessels, but the research vessels can cost tens of thousands of dollars each day. Matthew, what would it mean to capture this animal on video? You know, this if, if finding the giant squid was like landing on the moon, finding colossal squid is like landing on Mars. The challenge is colossal, but so would be the reward. One of nature's largest and most elusive creatures finally glimpsed by a camera from Newfoundland and Labrador, and then by the world. Zach Gowdy, CBC News. Clarenville.